All right, this is Brother Aisha Yar coming at you with an in transit video. First off, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth with their truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwath that's listening and learning. Uh, I just want to get into a topic talking about uh, salvation and being part of the hopeful elect because um at the end of the day uh like what i said in my past video i was like um we all don't know who are part of the elect but we're praying and we're hoping that we are one of them all right and that saying alone can uh shake a lot of people up because you know you'll probably be in a troop or whatever and you do all of this work or whatever and everything like that and some people probably just have that demon on them but they be like man i don't maybe this mistake that i did will uh lead me to not being chosen and all of these other things you know because at the end of the day we all want to make it but the scriptures do say uh endure Endure hardness so you can make your election sure roughly paraphrasing so What you have to do is You have to do everything that's necessary so you can make sure that your election is sure You gotta do this work Follow commandments statutes and laws follow the high holy days and sabbaths to your best abilities, you know Do everything according to the scriptures that'll make the most high happy and you know, and that'll be a, a a thing that you do, and it can uh, ease you up a little bit. You know, it can lift off, lift up that weight off your shoulders a little bit. You know, because you won't be getting to the point where uh, you feel nervous or you feel afraid because the Most High might not choose you. Then you gotta realize too, man. One of the most important things to see if you're part of the elect is a, a prophecy that we haven't lived yet, which is the RFID microchip, okay? That's one of the ways to see if you're part of the elect because at the end of the day, you know, if you know that the mark of the beast is the chip and uh, you know if you take that chip, that's pretty much your damnation, right? So if you know that that's... Um, pretty much that's that's a commandment not to take it and you already know what your future is if you take it then you know way where you can pretty much uh kind of save yourself all right because you know that you are not supposed to take that and that's one of the things or or uh one of the most important things that Yahweh by shim Yahweh Shah is looking for he's looking for the ones who's gonna put their whole heart toward him all right, and that's you know, and that's a, a beautiful thing in itself because when we be like it's game time and show time, here we go, y'all. It's time to show the most out what we made of. You know, that's gonna be a thing to actually show him. It's gonna be a, a, a very strong action, man. All right, because we already know we're gonna have to put everything to the side, not even to the side, man. We gotta give everything up once that thing is mandatory, all right? We know that um, as soon as they make it mandatory, we're gonna have to fully unplug, we're gonna have to just see what the most I got for us, you know? And, but that's the thing, man, it's game time. It's time to get out of that uh, mindset where you just like, oh shit, I don't know if I'm gonna make it, man, you know, and everything like that. Nah, man, you gotta live as if you are the elect, all right? And remember, I said as if. So don't go out there boasting and bragging and doing all these other things. So I'm like, yeah, man, look at my works and look at what I've been doing. Because the scriptures, scriptures do say works are not going to save you. All right. Works help, of course, because when you do the work, it does show your faith. Like right, the brother from Chicago said, he was like, uh, a lot of men can't get out here in these streets and teach this word, man. The spirit is not on them, you know? 
And that's the thing, man. You know, if you know that you have the spirit to teach or you have the spirit to change your life at least, to follow these commandments, statutes, and laws, and to not be a part of this world, you're showing your faith. Then you already know down the line, you really got to show your faith because like I said, once this thing is mandatory, you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to be like, okay, look, am I going to be afraid because uh, if I don't I already know, if I don't take this thing, then you know, that means I'm not going to eat. I ain't going to have no job. My family might turn against me, so forth and so on. Man, so what? So what, man? All right. At the end of the day, scriptures say his elect will eat his elect will drink why because they first of all because they're part of the elect but then the elect are the ones that put their faith in Yahweh by shem Yahweh shy man you got to believe these scriptures you can't just read them and be like yeah that's true that's true yeah it does say that no nah, man you act you have to actually believe that you are the elect you have to believe that especially if you've been building your spirit up this whole time and then as soon as it's game time, you you start to doubt yourself. You 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 um bringing in mixed emotions, man. You're not grounded. When this thing happens, you got to be ready. You can't be like, all right, man, look, I I, I can't do this no more. I I know this thing is true, but I just can't do it no more. So pretty much, you choosing death, which is stupid as hell to the fullest, like. <laughs> Like, what the fuck, man? You got to get in that mind because like the scriptures say, the Lord, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So you don't even know when it's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. And when it happens, it's going to throw you off guard. All right? So that's what you got to be ready for. And then when it happens, like I said, man, it's time to put on the game face. You knew this day was going to come. You knew that day was going to come. So since you know, since you knew that that day was going to come, now what are you going to do? You're going to live like the elect. You're going to put, you're going to fully unplug and you're going to have the, this knowledge and wisdom as the, as the stability of your times. You're going to do what you're supposed to do. That's why we say hopeful elect because we don't know who we are. We don't know who they are. But at the end of the day, we're going to live as if we're the elect because we're going to follow the scriptures. And that's one thing that you got to continue to do, continue to have your mind marinate in. All right. Like brothers say, man, brothers might have wives, children, or whatever the case may be. If your wife says she's getting ready to take the chip and she's going to chip the children too, and it's nothing that you can do to change her mind, then hey, you out there alone then. You'll see them on the other side. That's the faith that you need to have, man. When we say fully unplugged, we mean fully unplugged. We're going to put Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah first at all times, man. All times. All right? So this is not the time to be getting scared. It's not the time to be afraid. It's not the time to be second guessing yourself. If you look at these videos every day, you look at the Brotherhood's videos, you learn and you, you teach, you do whatever you need to do, then do that, man. Put that spirit on you and lock it in. Lock it in, man. All right? So I just want to speak on that. That's for a few minutes. You know, I ain't want to make this a whole long thing because, uh, you know, I got to get ready to do stuff and everything. So I just want to bring that out, man. So, hey live as if you're the elect man that's what the point is live as if you're the elect and keep doing it no matter what man because we already know this place has nothing for us so remember that this place has nothing for us but your how about shimmy how shy has everything for us all right so with that i'm saying call her lion yum yahweh bahasham yahweh shy bahasham rikak badash double honest to the apostles of the great millstone which i learned is true from honest to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity and shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning and yahweh ratazah i'll be back with another lesson keep pushing yasharala keep pushing we almost out of here shalom